Hey there, my name's Carrie, and here I am at Great Finds Resale. GFR, those are our letters. So it's nighttime, and this is the time when we're trying to catch up from our day. This happens to be a Monday, so we're, uh, we've been closed today and haven't had uh, foot traffic, but that doesn't mean we weren't working on store stuff, because that's kind of how every day goes. So um, everybody, when they come in, they want to know what's behind the counter here. And um, let me just show you what we got going on. Here's our counter. Okay. There's our store out there. And when you turn here, this is what is behind the counter. Oh, sorry, really wobbly. Okay. So today, I'm going to let you in on some of our secrets and some of the stuff we have hiding here waiting to be discovered because these are all things that we've bought and then when we get busy we stack them and some of this stuff has been stacked for six months and we don't even remember what's here i might be exaggerating when i say six months it might be a year honestly it's kind of it's kind of sad so um one of the things that i think we're going to start with here is over in this corner because we are trying really hard to get this under control and as you can see right here we have some really cool daisy boxes and these were brought in by a customer uh, a lot of times we don't know that much about them so we are gonna just take a look and see the daisy boxes are kind of deceptive all right so let's see what we got here besides the real toilet paper okay these things I don't know that much about them. My husband's the one that bought them, but I just want to show you what we got going on here. Because, okay, so here's the sad thing. I minored in German in college, and uh, let's see here. I can get that. It's Bronner's, famous Christmas place. We got Volkskunst, folk art, aus Hohenhamlen. Hohenhamlen. Oh gosh, made in West Germany. So that dates it also because, of course, Germany's. Reunited, so had to be from, oh my gosh, yeah, it had to be before 89, right? Oh my goodness, correct me if I'm wrong, please, because I don't have it in front of me. So anyway, okay, we got this super cool little man. If you ask me, he looks like a nutcracker. Must be a fishing guy. He's pretty awesome. A little bit of dust, but really... He's got all kinds of, oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay, he's not a fisherman. Look at this. He is, these are honeybees. He's a beekeeper. All right. And you can see there's like bees here, all around his back. I don't even know what this is. Let's see. Music. All right, that's awesome. Oh crap. And there goes my phone. Okay. So anyway, Mr. Beekeeper here. Turns out that he's also musical. That thing is cool. And these are all, all these boxes are from Bronner's. And then it looks like they went through some other place. I don't know. So, yeah, these things are probably, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 here we go. Here we go. Look at this. These things, international dupe, oh, my heavens, Zalkser Curzon. I think these little tablet thingies go, could it be on his, is this a pipe? Or goes in his mouth? I don't know. All right, I'm a little clueless on this one. All right, but he is, he's definitely very cool. So I'm going to put him back in here safely. And we're going to see what another one of these awesome. I mean, you can't beat the daisy box, right? Like, all right. Oh, this little guy. Let's see. Tons and tons. He's not even wrapped in the stuff. All right, here we go. Another. What do we have here? 
original Steinbach Volkskunst from West Germany. Pretty awesome. Oh yeah, accordion. All right, he's an accordion guy. He's awesome. All right, let me see here. I'm gonna get this guy wrapped up. Okay, get him safe from harm. And so these guys, I mean, usually stuff like this that's little, like those are easy to put on eBay. And definitely rare, like, I don't know. I hate to say the word rare because it's so overused, but um, this is definitely something that in, I don't know, we're almost seven years in business and we haven't seen one of these before or anything even close. All right, so here we go back to, this one's big. Ooh, it's even labeled for us, look. Gypsy. All right, is that even politically correct anymore? I don't know. Gypsy, Ronin, I don't know what. Aw, oh, this guy, okay. He had, he's had some um, some issues with his, his uh, storage material here. This stuff is just, oh, yuck. Okay, this is gross, it's falling apart everywhere. I'm making a big mess. Um, this poor guy, you see this stuff, it could literally just, it's crumbling in my hand as I take it out of here. Aw, maybe a good dusting or good vacuum would do the trick with him. I don't even want to take him out right now. He's got a little, oh, hello, I am a gypsy. Let's see. Though we come from Southern Europe, we are at home everywhere. Our brightly colored wagons are a familiar sight. Since our large families are crowded inside, we hang whatever possible, such as pots and pans on the outside. Usually we spend a few days in a village. We are known for our skills in umbrella mending and fortune telling, which gives us a little bit of an income. If we see a stray chicken, we see no harm in taking it along. Not having a steady job gives us plenty of time to pursue our hobbies, horseback riding and playing the violin, and that's why we are so good at either one. <laughs> there is a popular folk song which describes this pretty well. Mary is the gypsy's life. They don't pay any tax or tithe. That's kind of funny. There it is. Not made up. Okay. So they felt it necessary, apparently, to... Um, perpetuate any stereotype about gypsies. <laughs> umbrella fixers. I had no idea about umbrellas. I guess musical. Anyway, so this thing's kind of awesome, but he's going to have to get dusted off really good and repackaged because I'm not even going to take him out with this stuff everywhere all over him. All right. More. More daisy boxes. All right. There we go. So. Sorry, I'm getting like an inspection. Ha! Ah, isn't that fun? I hate the camera. Actually, I hate talking to a camera. It takes a lot of practice and I'm just not my thing. Okay, here we go. Sherlock Holmes. All right. Sherlock Holmes. What is the German interpretation of Sherlock Holmes? Ooh. Nice. <laughs> There's a little plaid hat, of course, a pipe. They all seem to have the pipe thing going on. Like a briefcase. Let me get them close enough for you. Of course, the hat. Terrible hair. All right. Ooh, I hear my better half coming. Hey! Hey. Did you know we had Sherlock Holmes and a gypsy? No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Gypsy had a nice little poem about how they have a merry life with no taxes or tithes. Ooh. The, the German interpretation of the this guy. Hold on, this guy. Did you see this one? No. Oh, don't do that here. <laughs> okay. Look at here. Here. <coughs> I already read it. <laughs> we have a gypsy. Nice. I know. I'm surprised he's still here. Good point. 
<laughs> he's been here for a while. <laughs> Probably the longest he's ever lived in one place. <laughs> okay, so that was Sherlock Holmes. The gypsy. All right, hold on. We are going to switch views now. Like, seriously, people, this is ridiculous, isn't it? That's why we're here at 8.30 instead of spending time with our six children. Okay, let's get set here now. You can see we got a couple more. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if I'm making you throw up. Okay. Impossible. Okay, here we go. Katie skates. That has nothing to do with um, the daisy boxes. Poor Katie. Just gonna have to go over here for now. Okay, I got three more of these. All right. Let me see. I didn't check the label. I should have checked the label. The gypsy, I don't think I would have known, except for their label. All right, this says, no. Rauchermann Marchenkönig. Okay, so something king. Aw, oh, he's off his base. He's off his rocker. There's his little thing. Okay. I can't tell if he's broken. Okay, definitely scissors. We got something weird going on with this guy. He looks like a barber. Could he be a barber? Maybe. Maybe he is a barber. This is like a, um, look at that. It's like a little shave kit. Shaving cream bowl. Okay. All right, I'm getting there. Is this a barber? Huh? You're the worst barber I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has scissors. <clears throat> and a shaving kit? That's a barber then, yeah. That was broken at first, but I don't think it is. All right. Wait, oh, we got a hole in his belly. I, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a possible, oh, crud. Eh, I don't know, see, there's a hole right there, and that definitely looks like it's supposed to go in the hole, but I can't figure out why. Ah, hey, now, not just that. Oh, brother. All right, well, you know what? He looks very surprised. How do you work these? He, I think uh, incense goes in his hand or something. He's got a scissors in his hand and a barber. What do you call this? Shaving. In he, his mouth. No, it's his mouth. His mouth. Okay. His mouth. That explains his extremely surprised look. You shove a, an incense burner in his mouth. That's going to look even weirder when he has that in his mouth. I hate to say it. Smokers. Uh, okay. But his mouth? How, well, how does he smoke? Do you he light looks him like up? He's smoking. Yeah, but what do you light? Is it heat? Incense. He's an incense burner. Okay, I'm getting that part, except what? how do you burn it? Like you burn everything. <laughs> you light it on fire. You light the actual piece. Here. Yeah, Here's the man who knows everything. Like, and he's, looks like he's... That big cone thing goes in his mouth and you light the actual cone. Interesting. It's a cone. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Let's see if this one has the cone. All right. No label. The one had the incense pieces, but I haven't found it in any others. All right. Hold on. We got something. Ooh, collector's story. This guy has paperwork. I'm hoping this is the right guy. Let's find out. Yep. Okay. What? Okay. This isn't looking right. <laughs> um, this guy's got some issues going on here. He's definitely not getting very far <laughs> like this. Aha! All right, wait a minute. See, now that, you see this? That looks like a candle holder. 
Oh my goodness. I bet they all... You're not... What? Look! You don't like the incense. What do you like? That. Oh, he's like a little... They pink. come apart in the middle. What are you putting there? A candle. Although in a wood doll, an enclosed candle seems like a bad decision, but... <laughs> Look, they oh, probably all come apart in the middle, and then the smoker thing is in the, the mouth. Am I even? There we go. Sorry. Well, he has yeah. to fit in the box. But yeah, see, now that makes more sense than lighting this incense in his mouth. Well, I don't want to do it because I'm afraid they just burn to pieces the second you light it up. I don't know. All right. Hold on. Let me get this poor... poor uh, what do you even call it when you're, it's not beheaded. He's a bottomless man. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, we'll put this back in. But that's part of the mystery. Okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Changing material. They never, ever, ever go back in the way they came out. All right. I don't know who packages these, these boxes at the factory, but it's impressive. Okay, hold on. We got one more. Okay. Ooh. Alpine Meadow Keeper. All right, Mr. Alpine Meadow Keeper. Sorry, I dropped you. All right, here we go. You know, next time I might think about using a table. <laughs> Instead of a pile of junk. Okay, here we merchandise, go. Merchandise. Merchandise. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, more of the smoker thingies. Mr. Alpine guy is in one piece. Ooh, the Alpine man has a bunny in his pocket. And a sickle. I guess he's, maybe he killed the bunny. The bunny grandma. Could he really have killed the bunny? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. Pine tree barn. Okay, now see. Aha. That's how. You see this here? That is local. That is local to us. Good old Worcester, Ohio. And the pine tree barn was charging $79 for this guy. And it looks like the bunny. Oh, the bunny's about to be dinner, except Mr. Alpine is about to drop him in his broken basket. Aww. All right, well, these things are, I'm going to go with easily broken. All right, we got lots of stuff going on with this guy. But look, yep, yep, boom. That's how the smoker smokes. All right, they were very detailed, though, when they made these things. The good old Germans. Or as my husband would say, mommy's people. Mm -hmm. That's me. Okay, wait. So now... Look here, we have a hole right here with no apparent something to go in it. And then this thing, this doesn't even make any sense. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Aha. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Here's he in here. Could that possibly go in there? Look at this. It does not, it doesn't go in there. What? That. So we got a sickle. We got this stuff. You know what? When in doubt, check the directions. All right, hold on. There he is. There he is. All right, so. Here's the, here's I think the he's just picture. To be on that. All right, there's the picture. Looks like he's about to eat that sharp thing. <laughs> like literally, look at that. Do you see this? What? Is he trying to eat his sickle? He's licking the blood. Ooh. <laughs> licking the blood from the sickle with the dead bunny in the thing. We've come up with a horror version 
All right, hold on. Let's try one time. This is tricky. There he is. This is tricky. Here's this guy eating his bloody sickle. You know what? Sickle's not the right word either. Uh, oh, now it's, look at, he just took one in the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> look, <laughs> we, all we need is the psycho music. <laughs> all right, that's disturbing. Okay. Well, you know what, Germans, maybe, maybe a little more fine tuning on this guy would have been a good idea. All right, let's see. I'm going to put him away before I completely break him. All right, almost there. With directions. Yep, Pine Tree Barn, $79. Can you believe? $79 for, so far we're on one, two. This guy was, we did this one already. There's the skier. He's even bigger. Here's our, just to recap, the barber. And the accordion guy. He's kind of boring compared to everybody else. Wow. 80 bucks a piece. Not bad. Germans, good work. Um, so what we'll probably do is end up putting those on eBay. Do you think anybody would buy those in the store? No. Not for 80. No. no. Not well, we don't need to get 80. You know, we have to it's a pretty figure out what collector. the... Yeah, right. Not too many people are looking for a German. Disturbing German. <laughs> uh, figurines. I don't know. Maybe they're like the porcelain dolls kind of a little freaky. All right. No more daisy boxes anywhere? Let's take a spin. Let's see, ooh, here, wait. Okay, here's something cool. This is Harley Quinn. She's a lot of fun. And we have a spider web hanging off of her. Okay. Duck. Down there. So Harley is looking for a good home. Anybody have a good home for Harley? <laughs> uh, there. There she is. So what else? What else we get in? Yeah. Uh, I know, right. We can't think of the thing, right? Oh, look at it. This is cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's his favorite... Uh, now, someone, there's a guy who comes in the store and asks me what's the coolest thing in the store. And this is probably the coolest thing in the store. Now, you look at this, and what would you say it is? Hmm. I said Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer. Mm -hmm. I think it's an awesome, like a vintage Thor, not a current Thor. Mm -hmm. But it is uh, actually an educational piece because this particular thing, in barrels, when they used to make barrels and they have the hole in there, they call that the bung. <laughs> Do you see where this is going? <laughs> okay, the yeah. bung. Yeah. The bung. Bung. And to pound in the bung, you need a bung plunger. So this is a bung plunger. Uh. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> a but bung that plunger. Is, but that is the proper term for this. This is a bung plunger. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Impressive. Who would have thought you need such a big bung plunger? <laughs> Doesn't it seem like a hammer would have done the job? I don't know. <laughs> That's an awful big bong. <laughs> We're so juvenile. Uh, all right. So we got more stuff to go through. It's getting late. It's almost nine o'clock. We got six kids at home and uh, they're old enough to take care of themselves. We're not leaving them alone. But um, we're going to try to get this place presentable for tomorrow morning, which is not a small Task. job. So. Yeah. All right. We're out.